Hi, we are Project Retos from Bits Pilani, KK Pirla, Goa campus, a multidisciplinary team of 50 plus students from various engineering backgrounds. We were established in the year 2018 and have been ever since consistently participating in various international competitions. We are proud to present our latest rover, Kratos Mark IV. Our team consists of six subsystems, namely mechanical, controls, electronics, power, autonomous, and science. Over the years, we've taken part in various competitions such as International Rover Challenge IRC, University Rover Challenge URC, and Anatolian Rover Challenge ARC. We have an in-house workshop in our university where we perform various mechanical jobs such as CNC, lathe, etc. We also have access to a fabrication and prototyping lab on campus where we house multiple 3D printers, a plasma cutter, a laser cutter, and a PCB milling machine. Our mechanical subsystem is responsible for the creation, research, and development of all rover assemblies. This year, our focus was on enhancing strength, durability, and efficiency. We've revamped the suspension, making it lighter yet stronger, and introduced a new wheel design for better grip. Our core rover has a removable electronics box and a foldable antenna. We have made changes in our bevel mechanism in order to improve meshing and make it more compact. The arm features new linear grip work that is lighter, more precise, and with increased grip strength, capable of handling larger shapes. Additionally, we have redesigned life detection assembly from ground up, integrating a dedicated arm with an in-house developed auger for precise soil collection. The rover utilizes 2.4 GHz Omni and sector antennas for communication that have been tested for up to 1 km non-LOS. The base station is equipped with a joystick and the sector antenna for control. A video compression algorithm eliminates the need for cam feed switching, supporting 4 simultaneous feeds at once. Wheel velocities are calculated on the Raspberry Pi using a differential drive model and communicated to the Cytron motor drivers via ESP32 chosen for its efficiency and processing power. We use 6 Rhino motors with feedback from wheel odometry through magnetic encoders that enhances rover control. A custom systems check algorithm ensures rover readiness and efficient debugging. In case of communications loss, the rover autonomously retraces its path using stereo camera, GPS and wheel odometry data. The rover autonomously traverses paths using a pure perceived controller and PID controller as wheel safe, which have been tested thoroughly. We have enough designed and assembled a tours to be configuration LiPo battery to fit within the international travel limitations, also meeting our specific rover requirements and for efficient power transmission. This has been further integrated with a battery management system, balancing the voltage and current requirements, which accurately calculates state of charge based on coulomb counting method. A voltage sensor has been connected between terminals of motors to detect remotely whether the robot is killed or not. New PCBs meeting specifications of ARM, drive, and science subsystems were designed and manufactured in-house, making the electronics on board modular and connection streamlined. The rover is tested for 90 minutes of continuous traversal. Kill switch is employed to shut down the rover in case of emergency. A new 5 degree of freedom robotic arm with carbon fiber links and advanced linear actuators boasts remarkable accuracy and can tackle dynamic heavy loads up to 12 kgs. By integrating custom absolute angle encoders on the actuators and bevel motors, a proportional controller has been implemented on the end effector position. As a result, during missions, the end effector can be moved linearly along axes and the arm can be easily positioned to preset configurations. We made the switch from a parallel gripper to a linear gripper on the arm, enhancing strength and making operations easier. With the new arm setup, the rover can perform tasks like flipping switches, pushing buttons, screwing bolts, inserting a USB stick and opening drawers with ease. The rover can seamlessly switch from arm-based tasks to autonomous tasks in less than 2 minutes. This year, we have prioritized accurate localization, mapping and planning in the autonomous subsystem. To achieve this, we have implemented real-time kinematics, ensuring centimeter-level GPS coordinates through seamless communication between the rover and the base. Next, our rover utilizes OpenCV for AR tag detection. This lets us quickly locate and navigate to designated points through a P-controlled visual surveying algorithm. Rover is equipped with LED lights to indicate its state at all the times. For navigation, we have implemented hybrid ASTAR as its global planner along with dynamic window approach for local planning. This is complemented by a probabilistic elevation map enabling our rover to navigate diverse and challenging terrains. This year, for the science assembly, we have implemented a robotic arm with an auger capable of drilling and collecting soil from the stipulated depth. For the laboratory test, we use a Bradford assay for protein and a camera for test for active carbon. We use a Logitech camera to capture panoramas and rock images. These rock images are then processed by a CNN model which is trained on an improved homegrown dataset to classify the rock. We use a digital microscope to 
take a high resolution picture of the soil which is then compared with the soil muscle chart with the help of data from atmospheric and gas sensors we can study the habitability conditions and distinguish between life as a part of our educational outreach program we train over 200 plus university students for the required topics so that they can create and build a mars rover from these pool of students we also conduct a recruiting process so that the people with no robotics experience can also learn and join the project see you guys at arc 2024